After school sports have been fantastic the last couple of evenings with these summery conditions. Now it's not going to be as night. Nice. Get prepared for some wet weather for those Friday night light football games. It's not going to be raining everywhere all the time. We have showers. We have an embedded thunderstorm. At times it just may be gray, so just be prepared for it. Uh, they've also got the big uh, Super Dirt Week going on, big races this afternoon and evening. Uh, there might be some delays. Have that umbrella and poncho. 70 at 6 o'clock, falling to 64. So these temperatures still mild, well above average for this time of the year. And it's breezy this afternoon and during the midday. But during the evening hours, I think those winds are going to be lessening if you don't have a thunderstorm 3 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures today make the mid and uh, lower 70s. That's still quite a bit above average, not to the record levels we had the last several days. Not in the 80s for today. We fall to near 60 and then by Sunday we're in the mid 50s, some spots lower 50s, so it's going to be chilly, especially with the precipitation that's going to be around and the wind that's going to whip. We've got some wind that's developing this morning, some clouds as well, but we're rain free in central New York, far western New York getting the wet weather. This front is steadily moving towards the east. However, it's going to slow down when as it comes into our picture, so it looks like we're dry this morning. In the Finger Lakes, yes, you'll have some scattered light showers developing, but most of the viewing area dry this morning. Then this afternoon, those scattered light showers move in. They start to pick up as that cold front gets even closer this evening. Could be a downpour with a thunderstorm. I'm not thinking severe weather. And then maybe even some heavy rain as that slows down. That dry air, I do think we do get into it. It'll be cooler tomorrow, a bit breezy once again. Uh, but eventually that cool air creates some lake effect over the weekend, but they'll be able to salvage. I think the late afternoon and evening for outdoor activities tomorrow just is going to feel a lot different than the last couple of days. Still on the mild side of the front here at noon. We're likely dry in Syracuse and Onondaga points east it's to the west and northwest. We've got those showers scattered around going into the afternoon. I think we're warmer than this. Some mugginess in the air mid 70s scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm brewing up as we go into the evening hours. Notice the chance for a downpour, maybe a little thunder and lightning, but nothing as far as severe damaging winds or flash flooding there. Now overnight, this rain could start to pile up in excess of an inch to the east of Onondaga County into tomorrow morning. So there is a low chance for flooding there. Notice this rain keeps coming back in from the south, but drier out to the west. Temperatures much cooler tomorrow. Bit of a breeze starts to develop, but we should work in some partial sunshine towards four, five, six o'clock. Then it's tomorrow night. The lake effect starts up up to the north going into Sunday. It's going to drift through at times. I think it's periods of rain up here with scattered showers down to the south and windy gust to 30 miles per hour. Seven day forecast warmest today. Afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms showers taper tomorrow morning and midday 61 then showers more to the north less to the south on Sunday windy chilly and more chill on Monday with scattered showers Abby.